Hello, today I'm going to show you how to install Steam Speed Client on Ubuntu 6.4. First of all, we have to go to the Steam Speed website. As you can see, this is the website. And we type in teamspeak.com. And now we go to download. And then we look for Linux. Connor shows Linux. And then you can choose between 32 bit and 64 bit. I got the 64 bit system, so I will press download. And I will say save file. And now while it's downloading, let's minimize the browser. So it's not so needed anymore. And now we just wait while the download is running. It's not so such a big package as you can see 72 megabytes. I'll fast forward the video until the download is done. Fantastic. And now let's open it up in the containing folder. This will be your downloads by default. And now you see this package here. Now let's open up the, the terminal inside this folder directory. Let us open the terminal. We say yes, please. And now we take this command. And we say copy and paste. We want it to be root. Oh, yes. So then you type sudo. And the password. Mm, I wonder what happened there. Ah! Ah, you must press press allow execu executing file as program. As you can see, I'm doing it with you, I'm not hiding anything. I'm confused with you. <laughs> I'm not gonna move up. Press the, press the up error to get this command again. Press type a password. And now it's working. As we see, Press Q to finish up, but we first press enter. Now we have to run for all the agreements. It will be good if you want to read it, but too much for me to read, <laughs> to be absolutely honest. And now we press Q and Y to accept. And now we are busy downloading TeamSpeak and installing it. Awesome. No, let's move because at the moment in downloads where the package is installed, it's simply inside the download. So only you as the user can look into this. But if you want it to be like at a more common place where all the users on the computer can use it, let's move it to the op folder. It is where Everybody can reach it and it's a quite a safe place in the Linux file system to edit. it. So let's start it and that's finished. So it moved from your downloads because we, we are all still in the directory of the downloads where the package was, as you can see. And it's installed. Now let's test our installation. As we already moved it up, so if you didn't move it, to your op folder then it this won't work but as I'm doing it this way just follow long press the, and let's see if it open up and yeah I accept 
en TeamSpeak is continue. Gig, look at it. Add your email. Absolutely awesome. Is TeamSpeak free? A person can, you can run this command every time to open up TeamSpeak and everything is awesome, but if you can go into your launcher and type in TeamSpeak, you will not find it. You can reboot, you can do whatever you want to do. You will not be able to see it. And that's okay. We are going to give ourselves a desktop icon very soon. So this was the add desktop icon. Now let's go to the config file of TeamSpeak desktop. Let's copy this command and say paste. And as you can see, it's nothing, but then let's just add all of this. You will find a link to all this description in the bottom of the, in the description of the video. You see control X. Yes, and exit. Now, let's write again things. It's a very light icon, but it's an icon. And yeah, this is how you install TeamSpeak client free on Ubuntu 16.4. I hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.